Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Gridley News. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, I still got my cold that I caught from the grandkids. The Wall Street Journal evidently published um, an article. It reveals how Google is secretly collecting health data on millions of Americans from hospitals nationwide. Evidently about 50 million Americans have had their health records gleamed. And how come our congressmen and senators don't know about this? At least when I called them this morning, um, they denied knowing about it. The Wall Street Journal has an article. Evidently, Google is calling it Project Nightingale. Dr. Robert Epstein posted this Twitter post. He's an author of 15 books, research at um, Arbit, A-I-B-R-T. According to another Twitter post, it says uh, Google is doing it to millions of Americans, 50 million evidently, to drive up costs to patients. Blatant disrespect to privacy, public well-being, and basic norms are now core to Google business model. Here it says Project Nightingale, Google Access, trove of U.S. patient data. The tech giant has struck a deal with U.S. health firm Ascension, giving it access to your records. Reported by BBC, they are collecting lab results, birth dates, your records of hospitalization. I suppose if you went into a clinic and they were part of this Ascension group, they have that too. I suppose all the notes that the doctor writes down about, about the uh, diagnose and treatment for whatever illness you might have they have access to that too and evidently they started gathering this information last year and now have broadened what they're collecting about us so they've been doing this for a year and our representatives our congressmen congresswomen our senators don't know about this and that Google is doing this you know, the recent banning that they've been doing, the demonetization of different channels, shutting down people's Gmail accounts, deleting their history from the cloud, um, all your photos, your contacts. This is like a book burning uh, during the time of the Nazis. Who would have thought that the movie The Terminator was actually Google? Yeah, The Terminator, because Google also makes war killing robots yeah Skynet is now Google besides BBC evidently the Guardian's carrying it if all these journals have this information why doesn't Congress are they just plain stupid the uh, beast system that was foretold over 2,000 years ago yeah the beast system is Google who would have thought that it wasn't a political entity or a person but an AI um, company I can say AI because they're using AI now to uh, delete people's accounts if you're one of the people that have their Gmail shut down and you call them up guess what you don't get anybody that's working here in the US they're all overseas all the donations that I've been getting to keep me up and running at least until December 10th hopefully I don't get shut down um, but that's been going through PayPal and guess who owns PayPal Google another prophecy in the Bible won't be able to buy or sell unless you take on the mark of the beast yeah I was shocked at the revelation that the beast system um, can you hold the people there at Google responsible um, would they be held responsible evidently they're immune from prosecution that's written into uh, some laws that Congress has enacted do you realize that 75 percent of the world's population that use the internet use it through Google yeah they got the Google balloons giving internet access around the world right to remote locations and to think that with a flip of a switch you can be denied access to information you know how easy it would be for them to fake a war saying you're being invaded by this country or that country and do they have access to our nuclear missiles we've been warned yeah the movie uh, wag the dog was about a fake war uh, war games was about a war that was started by an AI 
seemed far-fetched back then, didn't it? Well, not anymore. Not when Google's making robot-killing machines, uh, cutting people off from the Internet. Yeah, what happens to all your contacts? Your um, Internet communication with friends around the world, family members. How are you going to know what's really going on when they delete your account and you no longer have access to Google? I think that's what's coming. And why the heck do they want my medical records? They have access to your cars. They have access to water, power, all types of infrastructure. Denying information through the internet is like book burning that the Nazis did. God says that everything done in secret will come to light. And God says we're not going to be able to stop it. Not until the real Jesus shows up. Yeah, we got weather manipulation. And I bring that up because the fake Satan shows up and he's going to make lightning come from the heavens, uh, do all kinds of fake miracles. Any competition that comes along, Google either blocks access to their site or shuts them down, buys them up. Yeah, Skynet is Google. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up my videos. Thank you for your support. If it wasn't for your support, I probably would not be here anymore seeing how I've been demonetized. But there's people probably in a worse boat than me. At least I have children that I can move into. But what about people who have families, children? Who are they going to move into when their income is cut off by Google? Yeah, be prepared for what's coming. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.